Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in, in which we partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You give them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contain all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where we live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we will be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, to the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the five glorious mysteries. The first mystery, the resurrection of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second mystery, the Ascension. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. They will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third mystery, the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth mystery, the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth mystery, the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary as Queen of heaven and earth. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother, Mother of mercy. mercy. Hail, Hail our life, our, our sweetness, and our hope. hope. To you do we cry for banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us, that we will be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant we beseech you that meditating upon this mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with splendid garments. Let us pray. Father, Father we entrusted our Savior to the care of Saint Joseph. By the help of his prayers, mere church continued to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you, and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to the holy preaching. In speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, 
and, and with true charity binding us all. In the gospel we share to all peoples. By, By your will, O God, God, in your name, O Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is the Wednesday of, on the fifth week of Lent. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountain as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your heart. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for He is our God and we are His people, the flock his shepherds. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. As your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Miriban Masa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, there are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I saw in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. O Lord, in your light we see light itself. Sin speaks to the sinner in the depth of his heart. There is no fear of God before his eyes. He also flatters himself in his mind that he knows not his guilt. In his mouth are, are mischief and deceit. All wisdom is gone. He plots the defeat of goodness as he lies on his bed. He has set his foot on evil ways. He clings to what is evil. Your love, Lord, reaches to heaven. Your truth to the skies. Your justice is like God's mountain. Your judgment like a deep. To both man and beast you give protection. O Lord, how precious is your love. My God, the sons of men, find refuge in the shelter of your wings. They feast on the riches of your house. They drink from the stream of your delight. In you is the source of life, and in your light we see light. Keep on loving those who know you, doing justice for upright hearts. Let the foot of the proud not crush me, nor the hand of the wicked cast me out. See how the evildoers fall. Flung down, they shall never arise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. O God, you are great and glorious. We marvel at your power. Strike up the instruments, a song to my God with cymbals. Chant to the Lord with cymbals. Sing to him a new song. Exalt and acclaim his name. A new hymn I will sing to my God. O Lord, great are you and glorious. 
wonderful in power and unsurpassable. Let your every creature serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You sent forth your spirit and they were created. No one can resist your word. The mountains to their bases and the seas are shaken. The rocks like wax melt before your glance, but to those who fear you, you are very merciful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Exult in God's presence with hymns of praise. All peoples, clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, we must fear, great King over all the earth. He subdues people under us and nations under our feet. Our inheritance, our glory is from Him, given to Jacob out of love. God goes up shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God is King of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is King over the nations. God reigns on His holy throne. The princes of the peoples are assembled with the people of Abraham's God. The rulers of the earth belong to God, to God who reigns over all. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance, and in your kindness, grant those who steer to a sense of devotion, a gracious hearing when they cry out to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I had made. Whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other instruments. Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white-hot furnace. And who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, There is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white hot furnace and from your hands, O King, may he save us. But even if he will not know, O King, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than the usual and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white-hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Did we not cast these three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered. But, he replied, I see four men unfettered and unhurt, walking in the fire, and the fourth one looks like the Son of God. Nebuchadnezzar explained, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They disobeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise forever. 
glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Please stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen, amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever, but the son always remains. So if the son frees you, then you will truly be free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I have seen in the Father's presence. Then do what you have heard from the Father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You are doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would have loved me, for I came from God and am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. My dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Hindi dahat ng tao ay nabibili o nababayaran. Ito po ang leksyon na pwede nating makuha sa ating unang pagbasa. Karaniwan na po kasi sa ating mundo, dito sa ating lipunan, sinasabi na every man has his price. Lahat ng tao ay may katapat na bayad. Yan ang madalas nating marinig kuminsan sa mga teleserye, sa pelikula, na ibig sabihin, taasan mo lamang ang presyo, makukuha mo yung tao na yan. Bigyan mo ng posisyon o kapangyarihan, abay ayos na. Sinasabi sa ating lahat na siguro kung susuhulan mo yung tao yan, 
Siguro kung ipipressure mo yung taong yan, siguro kung bibigyan mo ng death threat yung taong yan, abay susunod yan sa'yo. Yan ang sinasabi lagi ng ating lipunan. Pero nakakatuwa po na paminsan-minsan may marinig tayo mga tao na hindi nagpapasuhol, hindi nabibili, willing sila na isakripisyo ang kalang trabaho kahit mawala. Willing sila na kahit mawala ang kanilang kayamanan, mawala ang kalang posisyon, o kahit pamamatay, huwag lamang isakripisyo ang kanilang konsyensya o ang kalang pananampalataya. May pipiliin nilang mamatay alang-alang sa Panginoong Diyos. Ang tawag po natin sa mga taong ganyan ay mga martyrs. Ito yung mga taong mas pipiliin ang pananampalataya kaysa sa kanilang sariling buhay. Ang ating pong unang Pilipinong santo sa Loron Surwis ay ganyan po, ano, isang martyr. Ang sabi niya, kahit isang libong buhay man ang meron ako, iaalay kong lahat para sa Panginoong Diyos, para sa kanyang pananampalataya. Sa ating unang pagbasa, may tatlong tao na pwede nating sabihin mga martyr. Sila po si Nasyadrap, Mesrak, saka si Abednego. Itong tatlong taong ito, eh, binantaan ng hari, si Nebuchadnezzar. Ang sabi ng hari, abay, sumamba kayo sa ginawa kong Diyos Diyosan. Kayo na lamang ang hindi sumusunod sa akin. Lahat sa aking kaharian, sumunod na. Pero itong tatlong ito, hindi po natinag sa kanilang pananampalataya sa tunay na Diyos. Ang sabi nila, kahit anong gawin mo sa amin, abay, pagpapatuloy namin ang pagsamba sa Panginoong Diyos. Binantaan sila na sila itatapon sa apoy, di pa rin sila natinag. At ganun nga po nangyari, sila itinapon sa apoy, pero mahimala, pinakinggan sila ng Panginoong Diyos. Habang sila sinusunog, nakita pa ng mga tao na sila umaawit. Nagpupuri sa Panginoong Diyos, sila'y iniligtas ng Panginoon. Hindi sila nasunog. Pero ang sabi nila sa ating unang pagbasa, Abay, kahit hindi kami iligtas ng Panginoon, no? nangyari lamang na kami iniligtas ngayon, sa maraming pagkakataon, maraming mga martyr na talaga po namang natuluyan. Sabi nila, kahit na kami hindi iligtas ng Panginoon, abay, susunod pa rin kami sa Diyos. Sa sampalataya pa rin kami sa Kanya. Kinalaunan, si Nebuchadnezzar ang na-convert. No? Siya ang nagbagong buhay. Alang-alang sa himala na kanyang nasaksihan dahil sa pananampalataya ng tatlong taong ito. Sa ating makabagong panahon, marami po sa atin ang sinusubukan no? na tetes no? yung kanilang pagpapahalaga sa buhay, yung kanilang pananampalataya. Maaaring sa mga opisina kung saan kayo nagtatrabaho, napakalakas ng tukso. Maaaring napakalakas ng suhulan. Maaaring kung saan kayo araw-araw no, na gumagawa, nanduroon ang korupsyon, nanduroon ang suhol, nanduroon ang death threat maaaring nanduroon ang napalaka, napakalakas na pressure sa inyong unscrupulous na boss. Ang sabi ng ating Panginoong Isokristo sa ating Ibanghelyo, huwag kayong matakot. The truth shall set you free. Saan tayo papalayain ng katotohanan? Una po, papalayain tayo sa anong bang bagay na ating kinatatakutan sa buhay. Maaring ang katakutan natin, nako ako na lamang ang mag-isa, lahat na nung kasama ko, iba na ang ginagawa. Ako na lamang mag-isa ang gumagawa ng ganito. Hindi tayo dapat makatakot, sapagkat kung tayo nasa katotohanan, ang pangako ng ating Panginoong Isokristo, sasamahan niya tayo. Hindi tayo mag-iisa, kasakasama natin siyang maglalakbay. Tayo papalayain ng katotohanan dun sa sasabihin ng ating kapwa, dun sa kalang iisipin. Madalas ganyan po ang nangyayari, hindi ba? Lagi nating nasasabi sa ating sarili na po, 
ano na lamang ang sasabihin ng aking mga kaibigan, ng aking mga kamag-anak? Ano na lamang sasabihin ng aking mga kaopisina? Kung minsan napakalakas ng boses ng ibang tao kaysa sa tinig ng Panginoong Diyos. Maraming pagkakataon, mas malakas yung tinig ng kapartido kaysa sa tinig ng Panginoong Diyos. Mas malakas no, yung sigawan ng yung mga kasama, yung sigaw ng kapangyarihan, yung sigaw ng kayamanan, napakalakas kaysa sa tinig ng Panginoong Diyos. Yung taong nais na maging alagad, disipulo ng ating Panginoong Yesus, ay yung taong nagsasabi na, hindi ko papakinggan, wala akong pakialam kung anong sabihin ng iba, bahala na kung anong kalang iisipin. Ang mahalaga sa akin ay kung ano ang sasabihin ng Panginoong Diyos. Yun ang higit na mahalaga. Makikita natin na ang pagsunod sa ating Panginoong Diyos ay pagsunod sa katotohanan. At ang sinasabi ni Jesus, later on, siya ang katotohanan, siya ang daan, siya ang buhay. Ang ating Panginoong Kristo ang magpapalaya sa atin. Hilingin po natin sa ating Panginoong Diyos na patuloy po niya tayong palakasin sa ating pananampalataya. Sapagkat sa ating makabagong panahon, no, maaaring maraming puwersa ang nais na magpahina ng ating pananampalataya. Panalangin natin sa ating Panginoong Diyos, katulad ng sinabi ni St. Catherine of Siena, Be who God meant you to be, and you will set the world on fire. Panalangin natin na kung ano yung kalooban ng Diyos sa buhay natin, yun po ang matupad upang sa ganoon sa ating pang-araw-araw na pamuhay, ang ating buhay ay nag-aalab sa pagmamahal sa Diyos at sa pagmamahal sa ating kapwa-tao. Please all stand. God is the limitless source of truth, freedom, and power. We are limited in mind, in spirit, and in body. Let us ask God to bring us and all persons to the fulfillment He intends for us. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who seek the truth may have their minds opened and freed by the message of Jesus and His Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our devout practices this Lenten season may serve to free us from bondage to excessive self-concern. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our involvement in the materialism of our day may not deter us in our quest for everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick, the poor, the prisoners, the ignorant, and all those who suffer may find freedom from their life's burdens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prior provincial and for our brother and ministry and at Bahay Dominico and St. Mary Magdalene, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may unbind the faithful departed and let them go free in the kingdom of His glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious Father, Your Son died that people might know and live according to the truth. Free us from our own narrow views and self-interest so that our minds and hearts may grow toward You we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive back, O Lord, the sacrificial offerings which you have given to be offered to the honor of your name, and grant that they may become remedies for our healing. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time, for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts of pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, we have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. Let us pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it is not temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to His Supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. God has brought us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption through his blood. 
the forgiveness of sins. Please stand. If you are faithful to my teaching, says the Lord, you will indeed be my disciples. You will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old, that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the old we saw to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. If you are faithful to my teaching, says the Lord, you will indeed be my disciples. You will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O oh Lord, bring us heavenly medicine, that they may purge all evil from our heart and strengthen us with eternal protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The Summer Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on April 12, 2021, third Wednesday of Easter. Novena Masses will begin on April 12 until April 20, 2021. The schedule of Masses will be at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon and 4.30 p.m. and will be streamed live through the social media platforms of the Minor Basilica and via Manawag Dominican Radio 102.7 FM. We cordially invite you to participate in the feast and the Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses during this feast and novena, 
you may approach our Basilica personnel in the religious stores and mass intention counters or visit our website www.manawagbasilica.org or FB page facebook.com minor basilica manawag official thank you please stand maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagbisita sa minor basilica for lady of the rosary of manawag at sa inyo pong pakikisa sa ating banal na bisa the lord be with you and with your spirit bow your heads for the blessing attend almighty god to the prayers of your people and as you endow them with confident hope in your compassion let them feel as ever the effects of your mercy through christ our lord amen and may almighty god bless you all the father and the son and the holy spirit amen our most ascended go in peace thanks be to god shall have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and for the blessing of your rosaries and other religious articles our helps in the name of the lord who made heaven and earth let us pray god our almighty father by your blessing you give us the strength and support in our frailty turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of our lady of the rosary of manawa so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.